guys, welcome back to another video. Today for me is Thursday, September 1st. I know I'm not the only one who thinks that's crazy. It's already September. We're starting the burr months, ends the months that end in burr. Um, you know, headed towards Christmas it feels like really quickly. <laughs> but it is September 1st, so for me that is like the official end of, you know, official end of summer. It's June, July, August is over. Heading into fall. I have not started my fall decorating yet. I know a lot of people out there already have decorated weeks ago. I'm probably going to decorate in a week to two weeks. Just depends on when I feel like it. Like I'm not super anxious to get it started because I don't want to get sick of my fall decor and that's the honest truth. If I do it too early, I will be sick of it. So uh, maybe it's because my house is smaller. I don't know, but I don't like to do it too early. I'll have it up until November so you know I don't want it to be too early so probably but I am excited to get it out and and decorate it's always fun to decorate for a new holiday coming a new season so uh yeah I'll be doing that look for that in the next couple weeks but I'm not one of those youtubers that does it like months early to try and you know get everybody motivated to do it I just have to do it when in real reality is I have to do it when I want it up and if I do it too early it's gonna I'm gonna be sick of it so anyway um right now I just have my everyday decor and it feels good it feels minimal it feels clean you know speaking of clean I need to clean my house today I'm gonna be doing some it's like one o'clock in the afternoon it's a little after one I think Marion's outside mowing the grass it's another hot day um, I just don't like when he mows it when it's so hot but you know it's hot every day <laughs> these days it's been like 90 every day for the last week and a half and it's still supposed to be this hot for another well for a while it's, for the foreseeable future it's still it's still really hot so where we live um, but he's out mowing so you might hear the the lawnmower but i'm going to be inside doing some cleaning i haven't done anything this morning that was vlog worthy i did i have been busy but i just didn't film anything but i this afternoon i need to be a little more productive so i'm going to be doing some just like tidying up probably take me like less than an hour just do some quick tidying i need to you know uh, just the normal everyday cleaning and I do one project that I want to do today. If you've noticed in my last couple videos, I've been, I have like a list of projects that just need to get done. Some, some small, some big, some in the middle. But I've been trying to like check those off my list. I don't want things hanging over my head. And it's just, you know, there's always going to be new things that need to be done. So it's good to just keep them, keep them going. So one of the things that's been on my list for quite a while, quite a while. Let me let Ollie in. Okay, dogs are in. They got their treats, got all the fur babies in here. Uh, but one thing I really need to get done, that was, it has been on my list for quite a while, is to clean out my hutch. You will be shocked when I open that door and show you what that looks like. Most areas of my home are pretty well organized and I like it that way, but I have for the last couple of months just been like opening the doors and throwing stuff in. Literally throwing stuff in and shutting it. I don't even know what I'm gonna find. I actually found the other day, I found a pair, another pair of glasses. I didn't even know I had any more that brand new that was in there so it was like I, i've got to get this done so that's what i'm going to do today do a little cleaning and organizing of that area and um you know i got that like rolling cart for my kind of rolling office it's working out very nicely actually i know it's not the most beautiful or you know it's kind of not doesn't match or anything but now that i have this chair um i showed you in a past video that we got this on marketplace and so I can kind of keep it behind it. And it's so nice because this chair turns. So when I need something, I can just turn there and grab it and yeah. So while it's not ideal, it works for me. And so for now, that's what I'm gonna do. But there's so much stuff in that hutch. I think some of it I can actually put in my rolling cart, like things that, I'm, that I get to more often. I don't know, but it is a hot mess. So that's what I'm gonna do today too. I also need to throw away my beautiful birthday flowers. They're looking so sad. So sad, but it's time. Um, and also Patrick will be here tonight for dinner, so he'll make an appearance. He hasn't been in my videos in a while. He's busy back at work. He works, he doesn't work during the summer because he works at the college. So he um, is back at work now and busy and he's gonna come over tonight though, renew his budget and I'm gonna make dinner and just gonna make like pasta and salad. So anyway, I'm gonna get to clean it. It'll take me like an hour and then I'm gonna hopefully get that, that the bottom of my hutch cleaned out before I have to get Jackson from school. Every day I'm looking for a way to return to the town when everything was easy to learn. Don't know when it started to get so serious. Building up an illusion of a world full of trust. Be strong Confusion in my mind 
deep connection lights a spark it's like you know me in the depths of my heart we're dreamers That took about 45 minutes. Hopefully that gave you the motivation you need to tackle your own house. Just a, da a daily tidy up keeps things from get becoming out of hand, getting out of hand. But speaking of out of hand, I'm gonna tackle my hutch now. I'll show you what it looks like. I have a couple like baskets and bins and things that I have in the basement that I wasn't using. I'm gonna bring them up to see if I can like kind of make some kind of sense out of this. Some of this stuff needs to go down in my craft room, but for now my old sectional is in my craft room and it's going to go to Madison and so as soon as that gets moved out of my craft room I'm going to go down there and like redo some things down there so some of this is just going to be taken out of here and put down there which I hate just moving it to another spot but there is a plan so um, for now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, I'm sure everybody has closets like this, drawers like this, uh, it's just, it's awful. Maybe, maybe everybody doesn't, but yeah, that's what I'm tackling today. I've just been literally throwing things in there and I'm a, a receipt hoarder also. So, um, yeah, I am going to clean this out, try to make some sense of it and maybe declutter it some because definitely all this stuff doesn't need to be up here. So these are a couple of the containers I have. I don't really know if I need them. Also, in case you noticed, I... Took my acrylics off a while back because they were just literally popping off and I had never had that happen before so I'm just using 
these little, I'll have to find them, Kiss press-on nails, but I've heard such good things about them and that they will stay on for like a week, but honestly, less than 24 hours after I put them on, three on this hand popped off and I've had to re-glue them, so I don't know. The next time one pops off, I may just be done with it, but they do look pretty. I wish they could, wish they would stay, but for now, <laughs> they look pretty, at least for right now. Okay, so I know I didn't film a lot of that. A lot of it was like personal stuff I needed to just go through and I was a little overwhelmed. So I just will show you the aftermath, but I put like, that's just like some papers I wanna keep up here. Lots of different packs of um, notebook paper. Didn't realize I had that many open, <laughs> but those are just things I need to g grab quickly. And then obviously notebook paper and note cards. This is like a glove that we used to brush our cats and I have a, another brush I just found I got to stick it in there too but we're always like where's the cat brush where's the cat brush I just want to get it have it easily accessible so we know where it's at that's just like pins and pencils and scissors and stuff that is going to be an empty box for my receipts that I want to keep for a little while I'm a receipt hoarder so is Marion <laughs> just in case you ever need a receipt it'll be there but I did clear them all out throw them away I don't need to keep them anymore but ones that I will need to keep and then these are just like a few uh, things that I grab like often very often that I want to have up here like envelopes tape um, sticky notes and my extra glasses that I found these are the ones that I hadn't even opened and then I have this spare too and then I'm always needing my 
tape measure. So those are just things, but it's surprising how much I actually only need in here. This thing was just overflowing and none of that needed to be in here. So this is all trash. I'm gonna throw all that away. And then these two baskets right here and these things all will have a place downstairs. But when I clean out my craft room, I'm gonna go through a lot of it and probably rehome it or get rid of it also. But for now, this is gonna go down there because this is kind of stuff that I store down there. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Let's move closer to a new history, find out what we can be together. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. All right, it is time to make dinner. It is about 5.40. Petra's gonna be here in less than an hour. And like I said, he's going to see Jaws afterwards, so I gotta kinda do it quick. So I got my ground beef cooking, and I just put some Paula Deen seasoning, which is just salt, pepper, and garlic. And I'm gonna cut up a an onion and a bell pepper and add that to it and let that cook along. Then I've got a couple pans of water going. I'm just gonna be making pasta. Um, Jackson likes this pasta and we like this pasta and then I'm gonna make a salad for the side and some breadsticks Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we too find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Well, our dinner was so good. I don't know why it was so good, but oh my gosh, Patrick had two helpings. Oh, it was amazing. I don't know what it was that Erica made. <laughs> it was phenomenal, y'all. It was. Oh pasta. my god, I showed him. Oh salad, yeah, pasta. so y'all know. Yeah, they watched Ooh, me make it. He's so excited good. tonight. He's excited because, like I told you, he's back at work. He's oh, like so praise pumped. the Lord. So excited to be back Ooh. around. This is what happens when he's around people. It just fills him up. <laughs> Yeah. He's just so excited. I know, I know, are you excited? Yeah. He's like, I get to be around all the people <laughs> and, and they and pay, they me, pay for me for it. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. But he's, um, we just did his budget. Yes. He's going to see oh, Jaws in 3D. 3D. So yeah. Ooh, yeah. Is the audience clapping. No, <laughs> Jackson oh. said, I want to go, but it's a school night. Yeah. And it doesn't start till 8. That's so I true. told him no. Maybe another time, but yes. Patrick's excited. But I just wanted to uh, let you see him. Let you yes. say hi. Good to see y'all. Good to see y'all. Yes. Um, yeah. So anyway, dinner was delicious. He's gonna go. I'm gonna oh. go clean up 
my kitchen. Woo, it was so good. Woo. It, it was good. Woo. Like I want seconds, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna be really good. I only had a smallish amount, and uh, I had big salad. So. <laughs> All right, you know the drill. I gotta clean up the kitchen. <laughs> Some of this I'm gonna have to hand wash because the dishwasher is almost full. Are you hungry? But Marion just asked me if I wanted to watch Elvis with him and he hasn't seen it. So it's a three hour, almost a three hour movie. So we won't finish it tonight because it's like 7.30 now, but I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll do that. We'll start it tonight, finish it tomorrow probably. Outside my window is everything pale and cold? Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long. Behind these clothes, I know the sun will be. But today's raining, so be patient with me. I'll be right somehow. I must be somewhere the sky.
Look at all my sleepy little babies. They're so cute. Everybody snuggled up. You like my new chair? <laughs> She's always sitting in this chair. I love my new chair, by the way. It's literally like the perfect size, and it swivels so I can turn and get to my stuff back there, and I can move this over here, or if I want to sit over here, I can move it. It's literally perfect. I love it so much. Can't forget about my sweet Oliver. Oh, no, we can't. This is like his favorite spot, is this corner of the couch. All right, you guys, I'm gonna say good night and goodbye, but thank you for hanging out with me. Um, basically, felt like all I did was clean today, but, well, that's all I filmed, but, <laughs> you know, cooking, cleaning, all the homemaking things, because that's what I love, but I hope that it gave you motivation if you're looking for it. Hopefully, this was a motivating vlog. Thank you for all the comments. I've been reading comments today. I mean, I'm reading comments every day, but um, it just, I just love y'all, and I appreciate you literally don't don't even know like how much I appreciate you seriously every single one of you so thank you thank you thank you make sure to give this one a thumbs up if you like it leave me a comment share all those things and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye